Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your third tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. In this lesson, I'm going to explain how to multiply negative numbers. And when you multiply negative numbers, you really do the same thing as if you were multiplying positive numbers, except for sometimes your answer will be negative, and sometimes your answer will be positive. And the way that we determine whether our answer is negative or positive is we count the number of negatives that we're multiplying together. So I'm just going to write number of negatives here. And if the number of negatives we're multiplying together is odd, then our answer will be negative. If the number of negatives we're multiplying together is even, then our answer will be positive. So for example, if I'm multiplying the numbers negative 2 times negative 3 times a positive 2 times a negative 4, we have 1, 2, 3 of our numbers are negative. 3 is an odd number. So the number of negatives we have multiplied together is an odd number, which means that our answer will be negative. So with that in mind, we can simply write a negative out here, and we can multiply these numbers together as if they were all positive. We've already determined our answer will be negative because we have an odd number of negatives, 3. 3 is an odd number. So we simply just go negative 2 times 3 times 2 times 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 48, so leaving our negative out front, we simply have negative 48, which is simply, we just write it like this, negative 48. So what if we had 2 times negative 3 times 2 times a negative 4? So this is the same thing as above, but I've changed this value. This is now a positive value. So now we count the number of negatives. One, two. We have two negatives, and two is an even number. So therefore, our answer will be positive. So multiplying these together, we can say that, okay, we know our answer will be a positive number, so we'll just put a plus out here. And then we treat these all as positive numbers. Two times three times two times four. 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 4 is 48. This time we have a plus 48, which we can simply write as 48. So in one case we had an odd number of negatives, and in the other case we had an even number of negatives. And so really the only thing that changes with your answer when you're multiplying negatives is it's either going to be negative or positive, and the way that you determine that is whether or not you have an odd number of negatives or an even number of negatives. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that made sense to you guys. If not, uh, please let me know, and I can maybe cover it in a different way. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for lesson number four in this playlist, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.